Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Hub. Today we're doing a video. Somebody asked me to make a follow-up video on my understanding of uh, Cassini and how Cassini and how the new way uh, eBay works or will work very soon. Most 99% of it works. Um, in relation to the vintage categories or, or written vintage things. So I asked uh, this person to provide me with two items and I'm going to try to use those two items to, to give some information uh, for the vintage category to, uh, to different people. So here we are. Our first item is this 1923 second tour of Dr. Syntax T. Rollinson with come 24 hand colored plates. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that I don't know anything about vintage. Uh, besides the fact that it's old, uh, I know nothing about it. So I did um, a little bit of research earlier to try to put myself into the shoes of a of a buyer that'd be looking for for this book. So the first thing that I want to explain that differentiates uh, between Cassini, I'm going to say all of the categories, and some special categories like vintage, is that Cassini is not going to look so much for popularity of the item. And the reason is because this book in, in a vintage edition like this is probably available to just a few items. So you're not really competing between 2000 listing or um, like in the wig category where I sell where there's a, uh, about 200,000 listings but you're competing with just one or two other listings and or maybe more. So the way I'm gonna look at this listing is from a buyer point of view. Uh, what is a buyer gonna, going to type to search for this listing. So one of the thing in the first video that I did was to show the um, most used search here. So I'm going to try to to uh, show that second. What was the title? Second tour of Doctor, and you can see right there at tour second tour. I already lost the most popular search. And this is normal because there's probably not a billion of people searching for this book. Doctor, let's keep typing it just, just in case, syntax. So you can see right there that there's no suggestion, meaning that not a lot of people search for this book, which goes back to what I was saying earlier, that when you sell vintage, you're not selling to uh, a hundred thousand people looking for a wig for Halloween. You're selling to a seller that's going to be looking for just your item or for something very specific. So let's search for that uh, to see what is being returned. So right off the bat we can see that there's 11 listings. So you're not competing a lot with other people. And the thing that I can see right off the bat is that there are two things. There are recent or not collectible edition that I would call they're still you know older but 1903 but they are older editions or newer editions and that is being reflected here by antiquarian collections or not so really because you're selling a book for $175 here you're selling to somebody that's looking for an uh, a vintage or uh, a collector book so I'm going to click on collective here because that's what I would do as a buyer. Now there's three listings and this one is from the United Kingdom. I'm probably not going to buy from the UK even though it's very cheap because it doesn't look like it's really a collector. It more looks like uh, somebody misplaced uh, or put this book into this category but it doesn't really belong here. Let's look at it just to make sure but there's one picture we can't really see. Well, actually, that's an older edition, so, uh, but, you know, it looks like an older edition from 1820, 
second edition but then it doesn't look like an older edition it looks strange uh, but I'm gonna assume that this is out of your competition here that really what your competition is is this book up here this first book which is the same and this book here so really when you look at this from a Cassini point of view you're competing with three items or 11 other item and you're not competing with 200,000 item therefore Cassini is point of view as if your item is popular is not that important being ranked two out of three is great it beats being on page 44 of the wig category so now from this point of view uh, I still want to show you one thing about the title that I think makes uh, a big difference so if somebody searched by the title of the book then they get your book. This is great here. Now let's go back to your item and instead of searching for the title of the book somebody is searching for T. Rawlinson. So T. Ro. You see it right here? There's no search. Now because I looked at your listing I know that the T stands for Thomas. So let's look for Thomas. Ro. Lanson. And you can see here that there is a suggestion here, meaning that people most often search for Thomas Rolanson, whoops, Rolanson, rather than T. Rolanson. So there are two schools for that. Uh, one could be for you to leave it as T. Rolanson, so that if people search for T. Rolanson, there's just two books being returned, or four actually. Uh, those are not books, they're other things. But if I look at um, Antiquarian Collectible, you are first, and there is this Alger book being returned. Or you could change your title for Thomas, which then brings yourself into more results. And if I look for Antiquarian, you can see that there are more Thomas Rollinson things. So there are two schools. One could be to change your title to from T. Rollinson to Thomas Rollinson to show up differently into search engine. The other one would be to have T. Rollinson. The perfect thing would be to have T. Thomas Rollinson. And then you would just answer to both. So again, there are two schools here. There are There is the school of of being the only result or close to the only result to somebody searching T. Rollinson or there is the more appealing Thomas Rollinson which then is being more search because yeah let me type it again because uh, it returns other things not just the book some textbook some education some uh, prints lit lithography and so then there is an interest for you to maybe show up in those uh, ranking. Now I'm gonna, I when I look at the Cassini result here for T. Rollinson, for example, I see that really shipping has nothing to do with it. You know, there's a free shipping in the middle of some other shipping. So Cassini does not seems to take free shipping as a as a mean of ranking for uh, for them. Uh, Cassini does not seem to care if it's from the UK or from from the US. It's being ranked, you know, this one from the UK is being ranked like right in the middle of other search result. So really what seems to be, you know, happening here, if we look, is that there's a free shipping, not free shipping, there's a low price, high price, there's a mid price, higher price. So let's open all of those four listing. So this one would be the first one and this one would be the second one, for example. And I'm not comparing which one, well actually let's not compare the first one and the second one. Let's compare the first one and one middle of the pack like this. Let's try to figure out why this is rated better. So this one is being rated better than this one. 
So I'm going to switch between them. Same seller. So this is the exact same seller. How lucky is that? That takes out of the equation everything about the, s the seller itself. Because it's obviously it's the same seller. So same rating, same good rating or bad rating. So let's look at the differences in that listing. This listing is being searched served first. $12. This one is at $12.75. It's on sale, both are on sale, both are interesting. Both offer free shipping, money back, 14 day money back guarantee, so it's obviously not on this. Let's look on the item specifics. Both are being filled. So let's look at the description. They're both very similar description. The person uses a, a same template. And keep in mind, we searched for, let's go back up, all the way up, we searched for that. So let's see here in this listing, there is eight matches for Thomas Rawlinson in the one that's being showed first. And let's look in this one, oops, there is nine matches for the one that's being served second. That's very interesting. You would think that it'd be the opposite. Now let's look in the description. One time, two time, three time, four time. Let's look in this one in the description. One time, two time, three time, four time. So those should really be ranked the same. Same seller, same amount of thing in the description, same item specific, same service and all. So in this case, um, I wonder if there's a counter, if we can see page views 212 and this one 117. So really in this case, what comes down to making this one being higher is the fact that it has more page views. Probably watchers, uh, we don't know exactly the back end, but that's what comes down to it. So. What I'm trying to explain here and, and show you is that within those results in the vintage category or the vintage keyword search is that the stuff that matters to Cassini don't really matter that much because people are looking, oops, that's not the one, people are looking for something very specific. So now let's go to your item and see what are the things that I would personally improve uh, to get you more chance to sell this book. So let's look again at this book into uh, a search on eBay. And we can see right there that in the vintage or more expensive book, this guy here is your competition. So. Let's close this one. Let's compare those two listing and what would make me as a buyer buy one rather than the other. So when I look at this first book here, title doesn't matter to me, I got here. Um, I obviously want to buy this, let's say for my parents. Uh, let's say my mom loves to read this. So I'm looking at it, good pictures, it looks like a good condition book. Um, I like to see this view because it shows me the overall condition of the book. Uh, this one I could care less. This I could care less. This I really like because it shows uh, the overall condition of the front. And you can see my behavior as I'm buying this potentially for, for my mom. Okay, it's in fairly good condition. It was what does it say up here? Okay, it's probably somebody's name that owned the book at some point. And you can see that it's in good condition. So I'm going to be, if I buy this one, it's $350. Ugh, this is stiff. The guy doesn't have 100 feedback, but he's top rated plus. That seems okay to me. Free shipping. Um, okay. When you spend $340, this is not my first criteria. But okay, 14 day return. That is great because there's no way on earth I'm spending 350 bucks if I can't return the thing. If, if my mom just doesn't like it, I don't care if it's in good condition or something. You know, if, I, if my mom goes like, oh, 
I just bought that exact same book for myself. I want to be able to return it. There's no way I'm losing 350 bucks. Now let's look at the um, item specific. The binding is fine, so that's good. Looks in good condition. And the description looks okay. Now let's look at uh, the second one, which is uh, the person that asked me to review the listing set. Okay, the first thing that's missing there for me is the item condition. Obviously, I know this is not new, but you know, you could put a little spill here to just say, hey, bindings, you're fine, or this is obviously a total different uh, book and condition. Now, what is the condition of this item? See, really, I'm buying a vintage book, and it looks fairly good here, but one of the things that I believe buying this book for my mom that I'd be looking for is let me go back up here is this view here because eventually my mom's gonna have that in her bookshelf and you know I I want something that looks good but here what does it look like so okay I'm gonna scroll down okay there's a view of the cover okay that doesn't really explain to me you know what um, okay what does the other side look like and okay so I, I'm kind of like bumped out because I, I would like to get a view like this to see the overall uh, condition of the book so now let's scroll down oh there's some other views of it well that's what I needed here so my first comment to you is why aren't those up here you have room, obviously, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 9, 10, 11, 12. You could put those pictures up there. The description looks awesome. I like how it's being the keywords are being repeated, but not repeated. Like, this is not just simply a copy of this into this. It's, uh, you know, said in different ways. So the keywords are not just like copy paste of every single thing, which is great. I like this description much better than the other one. Um, items are filled up, item specifics. The thing that's missing really is the condition of the book, which should also come up here. So, okay, so really this is more into my budget. So now I, I think I'm gonna buy this book because I really don't wanna be spending 400 bucks. And I have this friend that can actually, you know, do the cover again for my mom for 50 bucks. So really, this is going to be cheaper for me to have the cover being redone. Shipping, $4. Okay. I don't really care. But just a comment from me to you. Economy shipping, eh, when you pay 175 bucks for a book, even if you're going to send it first class, the fact that it says economy shipping here kind of like feels cheap. You know, even if you send it priority, which costs you the same, this makes it look not as cheap. And, you know, uh, what I would do even as a seller is when a buyer is going to pay 175 bucks, they're going to pay 179.99. So I would put 179.99 and do free shipping that's what I would do for this book it it doesn't really affect your ranking or anything but you know like I said if you pay 175 you're willing to pay 180 at that point it doesn't matter however the free shipping is kind of like in uh, in the search result right here if for whatever reason Cassini had decided that I prefer uh, free shipping then your book is not even showing up boom you're gone and really the difference you know, from 179.99 to 175 plus four, you'd actually be making more money by offering free shipping. Now, here's the thing then is I go down to the no return policy, ooch. This one is actually the one that's gonna make me not buy your book because there is no way on earth I'm paying 175 or $80 or anything over $50 with no return accepted. So here's what I would do with this listing. I would fill up the item condition. I would consider putting um, maybe the word vintage in it 
although it's not needed, I would consider putting T. Thomas Rawlinson and maybe remove um, remove this and see if it would fit uh, into it. I would do $179.99 free shipping. Uh, I would put free expedited shipping or priority. Uh, I'm not really worried about the delivery time. The no return ex or exchanges that has to be that has to be changed. That is the thing that would make me not buy buy this book. I would rather start to look on Amazon for some other books, vintage or you know, go look at a shop than spend $179 for something that I can't that I can't return if my mom just bought it for herself and I didn't know about it. Description is great. Like I said before, repeating uh, you know, like Thomas Rawlinson here is said, and let's see if I search for it, but it's not being copy-paste. It's being repeated here, which is an important keyword, but not in the same order, and search engine are going to like that. There's probably a little error in the code, but nobody, nobody really cares about that. So those are my comments for this listing. I hope this helps for the vintage, and I'm going to look at the Alger listing and, and buying the video right after. Thanks. All right, so I am back for the second video uh, of trying to explain the Cassini way, um, or the second part of this video to explain Cassini way, Cassini's way of looking at item. For the second item, the um, Reality October 1954, Profile of France by Andre Moore of the Loire Valley. And this one is hitting right home because uh, this is my hometown or this is the area where I was born. Uh, just a quick to show you this castle here, for example, is where my uh, cousin got married. And I've been under the castle here on the river with a rowboat a couple of times with friends and uh, this is right where uh, where I've been living before I moved to America. So uh, so I like to see this listing. So I'm going to pretend that uh, I'm looking at this listing from a point of view of I'm buying this to show my kid uh, about the Loire Valley, about where where I grew up. And uh, eventually I want to get some of the pages that I could maybe put into a frame and display in my living room. So the first thing, uh, now to look at it from a Cassini point of view, how would I get to this listing? Um, the first thing would be that maybe somebody would search for exactly this from October 1954 because they've seen it at a friend and they want it. They just want it to put it on their wall the exact same one. Uh, or it's the month of their the birth of their kid or the day they got married or what. So they're going to search for Reality October 1954. And you can see that there's no suggestion here. So again, this is uh, something that somebody would search just for it. And there's nothing returned. So OK, that's confusing. That listing here, Reality October 1954, didn't get returned. How about if I just type oct1954? Wow, it's not being returned. What did I mistype? Okay. Oh, that's with an S. My bad. I'm such a bad typer. But that shows you that right there, for example, there's a market for you to on purpose misspell the word reality so that you would appeal to a buyer that would search for it. Just saying, this is a this is a way some people, especially in vintage, might want to on purpose make typo in their title to um, to sell those to somebody that would make a typo. Now let's say that now I know that it says reality October 1954. Still not written. Okay, so how about Oct 1954? All right, now your listing is being returned. 
and this is the only one. So there's no competition whatsoever with Cassini. So what that tells me is that right there, you have no competition whatsoever if somebody is looking for just this particular item. However, when you type reality October, October, it returns different years. How many listing is there? Eight. And guess what? Your listing is nowhere to be found because your listing has oct in it and not October. If I type oct, you're first on the line plus it displays some other. So, so um, what I would consider is which market you want to appeal to. Do you want to appeal to the person that's going to type Reality Magazine? That's just looking for a Reality Magazine. And therefore, your item is not being returned because you don't have magazine in the title. Or do you want to appeal to somebody that types Reality October? And same thing here, you're not being returned because you don't have October in your title. Uh, so I would consider, you know, who you're trying to appeal. The title that I would write personally myself would be Reality Magazine October, spelled out, 1954. Let's see if we do Reality 19. And you can see, by the way, when I start to type Reality, Cassini wants magazine after. There's just nothing to it. You're going to have to put the word magazine right after it. But let's say I search for 1954. Reality 1954. And you show up in two, so that's not too bad. But again, it's missing. You can see this guy is in fr front. He has Reality Magazine. Here, Reality Magazine. Reality November 1954, pro probably. Wow, that's actually one of your listing as well. I same thing. I would put reality magazine. I was gonna say this one's probably not gonna sell either, but then I was trying to be nice. But the fact is, you should spell. You should have reality even in this one. Oops, reality magazine November spelled out 1954. Now let's go back to. Uh, ooh, there's actually two of them. So that's interesting to compare those two. Maybe I'll compare them um, later. Okay, so let's go back to uh, to this Reality Magazine. So first thing I would change is Reality Magazine October 1954. Profile of France, that's great. I don't think somebody would search for Profile of. They, prob they might search for reality, reality France, for example, if they wanted to put some gravure in their living room and stuff and in this case let's see does it return yours yeah it returns yours here so that's good so I would keep France I don't think anybody would search for reality profile of France personally I don't think somebody would put profile of somebody might search by André Morois, so you could remove by if you need some room, you know, like to spell Reality Magazine. If not, then keep it. That's great to have it. But I'm just saying if you need room for the title, I would get rid of Profile of and by. André Morois, great. Loire Valley, great. Somebody might be searching for that. Like me, for example, the Loire Valley is where I was um, born or from, so I could be searching for Loire Valley Magazine, for example. And boom, it returns yours. That's great. Yours is right in, in the first place. So, um, and then the last thing is why Cambodia? Uh, what's the reason for Cambodia here? I, I guess, I don't know, maybe there's a reason, I don't know it, but I think what I would do is spell the title yeah, let me type it right there. Realities Magazine 
October 1954 Andre Mo Loire Valley France there I don't know if there's 80 character or not you would have you would have to try it but this is how I would write my the title if I were you okay uh, item conditions very good that's great item condition is being filled um, again from a uh, from a Cassini point of view let's look at it in search if I was to look for reality magazine you can see that again in vintage category or things that are more vintage that are, that are not being searched as much shipping doesn't seem to be ma to matter that much um, top rated or not top rated doesn't seem to matter that much as far as the search engine itself the price it's all over so it seems to be more a question of uh, clicks or who clicks it so really for the vintage category I think what's really important for for you guys is this title to make sure that you're being returned with what people search for uh, again if somebody search for October you're not being returned because you have oct and that's something that I would change now uh, listing itself uh, description again great being able to put reality here then it's reality Paris edition in English it, it's the same thing is being repeated without being copy pasted and and it's highlighted like this this is a great description I love that description I love that it has all of the pictures here uh, I think that first picture here I of the cover is great um, picture wise it's great I'm not looking for anything else I've seen you know on the picture this is good um, I'm a little uncomfortable with the no return or exchange policy. Being a seasoned buyer on eBay as much as a seller, I know that I can force, uh, if I were to just file a claim for SNAD, significantly, significantly not as described, I could force you to accept a return anyway. And then you're going to get a mark on your, um, on your eBay, which really I feel bad about doing if I'm returning it. But if I want to return it, I'm going to do whatever it takes to return it, including lying and whatever. So I, if I were you, I would accept return or exchanges. Just a basic, you know, 14-day 14, uh, 14 return. If you use the, the um, what is it called, the, the return process, the new return process, the managed return by eBay, add, um, add some kind of restocking fee, like 10% restocking fee, just for your, just for your trouble. Um, same thing here, economy shipping. It looks, economy shipping to me sounds cheap. That's what it means. I'm cheap. That seller might not pack my item correctly. I know I'm wrong because I, I know you and I know you do a good job of, of uh, sending you items. But that's what economy means to me. It's kind of like, you know, you're not in first class. You're in economy. So what I would do uh, if, if I were you is I would change the price to, um, first off, I don't like 30, 0, 0, 0. I would uh, change it to 34.99. I like the 0.99. It's really psychological. I know some people don't agree, but it's really psychological. 29.99 is not $30. It's in the $20 range. So either put it to 29.99 and put your shipping at 4.99, which really is the same, but it's psychological. Or uh, what I would even go further with, with this type of, uh, of item is I would put it to $39.99, free shipping, and then I would run um, some markdown, some store markdown all the time. Like make your item being marked down 10% all the time. So really it comes down to the same thing. However, with free shipping, Let's look to see if we have an, uh, an item that I could compare it to. Uh, or reality. 
reality magazine so I'm looking at those here uh, not much different let's see if I look at a free shipping item it shows the badge free shipping here I know it's it's not much but that you know all of those little things makes a big difference and really it's a matter of where you put the price for you you know you're just offsetting it or putting it a different place and you know same thing if I'm looking to buy this to to make some frames in my living room if I'm paying $30 I'm paying $34.99 this is the same thing for me if I'm looking for something cheap then I'm getting this one for $8 for example but if I'm willing to buy your item makes no difference for me if it's $30 or $34.99 I'm buying it uh, let's see are there some see nobody runs a sale here and I really I really like here let's click on some items to see if there's a sale running see nobody has a markdown running here this one I like that 20% woohoo if I'm a deal seller I I want to have this now a way of getting this badge here all the time is to actually put your item like I said at $39.99 so let's bring a little calculator here. So put your item at $39.99, free shipping. So really here you were getting $35 if it sells, 30 plus five. And then you run uh, a 10% discount. So, oops, so $39.99. Minus a 10%, which would be 3.99 discount, makes it at 36. So you could even run, let's see, 39.99, 15%. Why is it doing that? 39.99 times 15 divided by 100. There, 5.99. So 39.99 minus 5.99 is very close it's like just a dollar less so you could do maybe a 14 percent on it so you would have by doing free shipping and by having a sale um, running all the time and by the way the, here's my little placement we have an app that does that that's called key markdown that can put your item on sale uh, for every single day you don't have you can set it up once and every day it will put your item on sale and I can help you set it up but if you don't want to do it to pay for our app that's just 99 cents a month by the way it's not very expensive if you don't want to do it you can do it manually but think about it psychologically when a buyer looks at it wow if it's a if somebody is looking for a deal that right there that attracts them when they see that it's like a magnet it's like peanut butter on a bread you know it's like oh I want it so okay so again I would put it at 39.99 and I'd run a 14% or a 10% discount with free shipping you actually would get the same amount of money but you're making your item much more attractive to the buyer's point of view again that does not seems to affect Cassini at all but from a buyer's point of view you know you want returns you want free shipping or at least something that does not say economy I'm willing to pay five dollar for shipping if some if I know that it's like this one for example says expedited shipping yeah five dollar I would pay well actually four ninety nine I like four ninety nine I would pay four ninety nine for expedited shipping I'm not paying five four ninety nine for economy shipping that's just psychologically it takes it out of me it's like here eBay could just replace it replace this by shitty service so paying five dollar for shitty service no paying five dollar well this is free but let's imagine it's five dollar paying five dollar for good service okay I might and I'm sorry you know this is psychological but I'm, I'm trying to give you advice on it on stuff item the specifics very good um, nothing bad to say about it your template is great I like the logo I love how you do your descriptions with the keywords and things so really what I would do is I would try to appeal more to uh, more to the buyers by changing a little bit your business model maybe raising your price 
but then lowering it with a sail and then offering uh, lower, you know, even if you put even if you put five dollar, put four ninety nine. It's psychological. And instead of economy shipping, have something like expedited shipping or priority shipping or but economy ship shipping is like saying shitty shitty shipping. That's what it says to me. I'm sorry, excuse my French. So I hope this helps. Uh again to recap a little bit on Cassini, I think in the vintage category it does not matter as much the popularity as the title matters. Again, you know, this is really important to realize that Reality Oct 1954 returns your item. Reality October 1954 does not return your item. And and that's where I think the the Cassini difference for the vintage category matters. Of course, you know, you want to do a good description. Of course, you want to have a good item, but you're already doing a great job of that. Of, you know, putting this, you have a good store here, items on sale, you know, and well, actually you have items on sales already. Zero. Boom. Ah, uh, that I don't know. I don't like. Zero found in root. See, I clicked on it. I clicked on it. If you had items on sale, I might have bought something. But it's not on sale. I'm a cheap bastard. I'm not buying anything. Oh, while I'm at it, um, what the heck is going on here with this? Maintain by. Okay, that's weird. And here there are keywords that people don't see. Oh, actually, that's a trick. I didn't know about that. That's a good trick. I'm taking notes. I might do that in my in my store. Very good trick here. But I was like, oh, what's going on with it? Love your logo. Uh, your store looks good. While I'm at it, I'm I'm looking at your store. But really, you know, when I was in this item in this listing here, I click on item on sale because I'm a cheap bastard again. And boom, there's nothing. Oh, that sucks. So that's it. Those are my recommendation and uh, and my little take on it. Again, you know, I'm not a professional. I just sell on eBay and I try to help people. So hope this helps uh, people. Thank you.